How are you doing? This is Philip McKernan and um, I'd just like to talk very briefly if I can today about gratitude and about thanking people and um, th th this, this video has been inspired by the bunch of flowers that you just saw which was uh, just arrived in the post or literally on the, on the doorstep uh, a few minutes ago from uh, an anonymous person so thank you. Um, but we invited a group of people after uh, a program I ran on Saturday called Everest to our own home and uh, one of those people basically chose to, 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 do, to do this and we're very grateful. But I, the question for you is, um, how often do you thank people in your life uh, in, in the context of a card? And uh, it, it's something that we, I suppose, think about and talk about and, and some people are very religiously good at it. And I suppose even myself, I could be better at it. And it's a bit slowing down, really, really thinking and appreciating people. But one of the things I do at a workshop, and I'd like to offer this to you maybe to consider for yourself, is I ask people, encourage people to write a card to a mentor, somebody who has inspired them in their lives, somebody who's made an impact in their lives. And generally speaking, we think about that, we, we generally always go to family, but I would encourage you to think a little bit outside of that, maybe somebody who's not a family member. I've also, doing this exercise, come across a few people who said, you know, well, unfortunately my mentor died and they have some regret around that. They never had a chance to thank their mentor. And as weird as this may sound, I actually encourage people to write the note anyway. And if that person is called Joe Bloggs and they live in Toronto, I encourage them to write a letter of appreciation and just explaining how they impacted their lives and, and post it. And um, whatever your beliefs are in, in terms of the dead, whether they're up there, down there, or they're still around us, or whatever is, is your own business. I, I don't bring uh, religion into my work, but it's incredible therapy for you. And it's incredibly, you know, it really gives you a sense of appreciation for that individual and a great sense of respect for their memory. And also starts, and, and really at some sort of core level, gets you to appreciate the people who are currently mentoring you. So something just to consider, when was the last time you picked up a card for no particular reason, sent the card to somebody who's made an impact in your life, not because they've done something necessarily recently, but just has made an impact in your life and you just wanna let them know. And watch what happens. Watch how they appreciate it, assuming they're still alive, of course, and watch how it deepens the relationship. So I'd encourage you to pick a card this week, today, and actually send it to someone who's impacted your life that you haven't necessarily thanked. And uh, I just think it's a really, really cool thing for them to receive. So that's my message and uh, once again, thank you to whoever sent these flowers to us, we really appreciate it.